Well, hi guys. This is, uh, as the title says, uh, a thank you and an update. Um, what's happening at the moment? Well, first of all, a thank you uh, to Paul one nine six seven boy. Um, I built Paul a knife recently, and um, he sent me some goodies. I did do an unboxing, Paul. But unfortunately, uh, I filmed the unboxing. But I, when I got the camera back from my previous uh, camp, it got wet. And when I um, downloaded it and looked at the video, it was of poor quality. Uh, there was some moisture got behind the lens, so I had to scrap that. Uh, I've since dried the camera out with a hairdryer, and it seems to be working fine now. But you've sent me some really nice goodies. Uh, I really didn't expect any of this, to be honest with you, Paul. Um, so thank you so much uh, for that. Um, the Tennessee, uh, rather the um, Jack Daniels, was it? Whiskey. My, my wife and I enjoyed that, thank you very much. <laughs> and also uh, Belgian chocolates. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Paul. Really appreciate it. Mm. Quality. Anyway. Where am I at the moment? I've just finished off um, three knives. Um, I've got Odds knife here. That's Norwegian bushcraft. I'm not sure how to pronounce your surname Odd. Anyway, your knife's ready now. I finally finished it. I had to um, do the scales over again because the first lot of scales that I fitted weren't really up to standard. They had um, a split in them. So I had to take them off and start again. Here's your sheaf and a dangler. Put a couple of lanyard holes in there. I've done a, a fire steel with a, a black fibre liner which matches the, uh, the knife. And here's the knife itself. Uh, sheaf's still damp, so I'm, I've just finished the sheaf literally about a quarter of an hour ago. Uh, I was using the, uh, the the knife to wet form it to its sheath. Each each knife is into individually wet formed to its sheath. Just needs a bit of a clean up. Bit of a clean up, and then uh, final heat apply up application of troil to the uh, to the scales, and that'll be. Uh, ready to send here. And as with all my knives, razor sharp. So that's that's your knife odd. Left hand sheath. Um, Peter Mazadan. I've done a right hand sheaf dangler option for you. Again, matching fire steel. This time, uh, red liner going through the uh, the wood to match the um, match the, the the knife itself, which is. Uh, Oak scaled. Red liners. Brass pins. Lanyard tube. Again. Razor sharp. 
So that's yours, Peter. And the last knife I finished this week is Dave Evans. Now this is an unusual knife because um, he sent me some wood from Russia. Uh, I struggled really to get enough wood for the matching fire steel, Dave. So I put the uh, I managed to scrape some wood together out of it and put it in with the, with the liner going that way instead of across way. That way I was able to get the wood to use for the fire steel. Uh, the actual uh, wood itself is quite busy. It's got sort of greens, dark greens, light greens, golds, mosaic pins. Red fibre liners. And then, uh, as you'd expect, razor sharp. So that's yours. Uh, roach. Almost finished a sheaf for you. Um, the sheaf is actually finished, but the the, uh, the 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 dangler needs some more work. I'm waiting for uh, some more of these line 24 press studs, and I can finish the dangler off. Just as soon as that's done, I'll send that send that over to you, all hand stitched, like all my sheaves are now. There goes the phone. I'm also working on uh, John Domenico's knife. I'm waiting for uh, uh, some wood to finish that knife off, John. And then the next knife builds him up to, which I've just started now, uh, orders 52, 53, 54 and 55. So that's Dave Boschel. Declan Darcy, Terence Dooley and Sean Mayer. Uh, so hopefully within the next well, week, 10 days, I should have those uh, those knives finished off. So that's it, that's the update. Uh, thanks for watching. Once again, Paul, really appreciate this and your kindness and your words. Mm. Thank you.